because you done already told them the game plan. Yeah, pretty much you done already told them the character to assume yeah. because you didn't share right. all of the information with them. You where your weaknesses are and everything. If he did it down this way, so I'm gonna try that. He hit me four months later. <laughs> Right. You know? Girl, I said, Lord, I don't understand these women because that nigga just had to raise his hand one freaking time and looked like he might be thinking about hitting me. And that would have been all she wrote. <laughs> I would not tolerate that. I, I can't do that. I was sitting here thinking, because I didn't have my daddy in my life, I feel like well, I begin to feel like other women who had their daddy in their life had something that I didn't have. But as I begin to become friends with them and some of them being lost, I would think to myself, well, goddamn, what happened to you? You had your daddy. What the hell wrong with you? So what I wanted to say, <laughs> what I wanted to say is, I think the game so to speak, is not carried down to the daughters of the girls, even my daddy. I think daddy could have done better teaching the girls of how men really are. Instead of say, telling them just the basics. Don't be stupid, you hear? Don't get pregnant, you hear? Or some daddies would even try to make their daughters just be more of a masculine woman and teach her how to do all change and tell her she don't need a man and go get a job da, 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 da. but they never taught them like the nature of a man and i feel like they didn't teach him because they probably didn't want that girl to know that they were like that <laughs> yeah that's true too but then if you if you're a man like that um quote what you just said like that is broad, so we're gonna say that he was a hell of a hell of a. If you're a hell of a hell of a man, <clears throat> you teaching your daughter how to be a. That would that that to me would make you want to teach your daughter how to be a strong woman. Because inside of that man, he knows he's a dog, mm -hmm. and he's usually a girl is is usually a, a daddy. Daddy's girl, my right. girl, so daddy's girl. Because if I had one, I know I would have been one. Um. So with that being said, he wants he, he cherishes her as well, and he wants to teach her all the things that the other women are not doing that he would expect them to have done, and not allow him to make a damn fool out of them. He would teach. Her his daughter, how to guard against that. Another thing, every daddy is not a father. Yeah, so, yeah, and, that's true. And, and, and even when they try to be fathers, they lack because they didn't have a father to teach them, to guide them. So they, you can't expect for them to guide someone when they haven't been guided themselves. And a lot of them, I give applause to, try very well to, um, to mimic what a good father is. And you know, they, they, I mean, I said that to say that a lot of, especially in our youth, with our youth, a lot of men, even in my time, my daddy, my daddy was a whore. He was a whole mama. And um, so he had nothing to offer my brothers but how to be a whole mama. And most of my brothers, all of them, let me see, can I think of any? Wow. When you said oh. that, I thought about them. You're right. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. So, they don't have anything to pass on. Most of them don't. There's some good ones out there. They have a lot. To, they were brought up right, raised right, and everything, you know. And they, 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 or, and there's some that hasn't been raised right, like I said earlier, that learn. They mimic other right. role models. Right. You know. So, I mean, 
But you know what? I I guess it's not. I don't want to say it like I'm blaming the fathers because it's that individual person too, who who probably can see daddy being a whole manga, but it's ultimately their decision to not be that. You know, to be a better man. You know. Right. That's where that's where the mimicking came in at because he wants to, this boy that mimicked. He mimicked his role model. He wants to be a better father than he had. Than than he. You know, than his father was. Right. So he, he goes out and he finds somebody to do to to, to, to call the cop. Right. And, and, and so that that's why I say I I applaud those that got out of the box, so to speak. You know, they they wanted to be different. They wanted to not be like that. They yeah. Made they changed their mind. Yeah. No, this is not gonna come upon me. Just like I, you know, my I, I changed my mind about a lot of things that I thought my mom was going through. That ain't gonna clam up on me. No, 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 no. You need to just like your mom. And what does that mean? No, I'm not. I'm unique. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I am a a, a, a a designer's original. I ain't like nobody but Tina. And I had to learn that. That didn't. That decision didn't just clam on me. I didn't feel like that all my life. I grew to feel like that. I watched. I learned. I listened. I stood still at times when 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 I thought that I should have talked. And I'm glad I kept my mouth shut because I learned a lot. A still tongue sometimes holds a wise head. As much as you and I, you and I talk, I don't talk to many people like this. I don't talk to nobody like this. You know? Right. I listen more than I do anything. Especially in my older older age. Yeah. And whenever I did listen, I would listen I wouldn't listen to girls my age. I me and cousin Jane, huh, that woman used to talk and girl, you would think I'm not paying attention, but there's so many things that I can pinpoint that I've learned from her. Just saying little stuff like a loaf a half a loaf of bread of of your own is better than a whole loaf of somebody else's. What the hell are you talking about, woman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. as life went on, that wisdom. The unfolded. wisdom. Yeah. That wisdom unfolded. Definitely. And it became light to the dark road in my life. Yeah. Each step that I took my journey, took on my journey, a light came on to guide me the rest of the way. And that was from listening to women of wisdom. Yeah. And today, a lot of young people, as you grow older, as a woman grows older, oh, that, oh, that's old. Oh, don't, don't listen. But then when they ask, get in trouble, Miss Tina, can you help me? Oh, yeah. I'm going to bring your little nappy head ass back here now, huh? And, you know, I'll just <laughs> tell you something. This chair out there, where for the most part, younger people ignore what's so valuable. And that's the wisdom of an older person. Because she has traveled, traveled places that you would never even imagine. And she could give you so much insight. So much insight. I, I don't know. You're right about that. She can. I don't yeah. know about them, but uh, I don't be ignoring the wisdom of older people. No, me either. Girl, you let an old lady sit down and try to talk to me. I'll be like, huh? <laughs> what <was> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially if she, you know, you see, you see a level of success from her. Now they have some older ones that are just so bitter too now that you can't oh, listen to because things didn't work out for them. Yeah. And Karen was my wisdom. Oh my God. She was my wisdom too. She, 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 she had, she was a more modern, of course, than um, Cousin Jane was uh, age different. different yeah, she was jazzy. That, but... When I when, when when she came into my life, oh my God, that was a whole nother level. <laughs> right, and it's good to have people like that. She was older than you, huh? Yeah, twenty years older than me. Yeah, yeah, it's good to have people like that in your life. It really is that wisdom. Yeah, that wisdom is so helpful. Yeah, but I I feel like I had a lot of older people. All, yeah. all of my friends that I really gravitated to were older, and I paid attention to them. 
And that's why I feel like I got a lot of my insight from, from yeah. you know, just paying yeah. attention, what not to paying do. Attention. Exactly, you know. And not to say that all old people are right. You, 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 you eat the food and you spit the bone. Right. Down. You still have to have you know? your discernment with them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to know what you want. I mean, advice is one thing, but you have to execute. Yeah, my, my thing is just that the game, so to speak, is really not passed down like it should be. It's almost like everybody got to go out into the wild on their own and figure it out, you know? Whether you had yeah. a daddy or not, you got to figure this thing out. And yeah. some people are 50, 60, 70 years old and still never got it and still get yeah. played, you know? Mm -hmm. That part there. Yeah, you still have to go and find out, but ain't nothing like going on a journey with a lunch pack. <laughs> yeah. I like that. You're right. Yeah. You're right about that. Yeah. Having that's a lunch what, pack. That's what it's. That's what it's. That's what it takes. You know. Yeah. Uh, my mom, as as much as she, I believe she just. I believe my mom gave all that she had to offer. She had nothing else to offer. She gave. All of that, and on um, my side of the uh, uh, equation, um, she lacked a lot. Yeah, and but I, but she I, loved you like you said with all that she had. Yeah, as I grew older, I realized my mom gave me everything she had. Yeah, she, she wasn't a bad person. Right. She, she just was a limited person. Right. She did not have what I needed. Exactly. So she couldn't give it. She's but they got to, they got some parents out there. Huh? They got some parents out there that know it though. That's the ones I'm talking about that know it and don't share it. And don't share. It. Those. And don't share it. That goes back to the man and the daughter. You know it and you ain't gonna share it with your children. Well, you seem to me to be a little unfair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, that's what it is all about. God give you these children for you to nurture. And nurture ain't just sticking a titty in a baby's mouth. Nurture them to life. To life. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of sending them out in the wilderness. Yeah. To and be devoured. Yeah. Yeah. That part right there. Yeah. And go in to tell them, you know, I thought you'd do better than this, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know you was this crazy. Like, what did, <laughs> well, when did you ever teach them, though, you know? Yeah. When did you take that time to do that? To, to make sure they wasn't crazy. Mm -hmm. That part. Because, look, you know what? Sick people um, have a tendency of making another person sick if their immune system Law. Right. And I said that to say that going back to my own life because I, my journey is the only journey that I really can talk about in full detail and have a vivid picture of. When my, I said earlier that my mom only gave what she had, she put, she, she unbeknown to her, I believe, at this point, I believe it was unbeknown to her. She did the same thing that was done to her, to me. Yeah. When she was my age. There you go. So that's what it is. It's like the cycle of the generational curse. Yeah. Everybody's stuck on stupid. Until somebody says enough. Enough, enough. is enough. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's time yeah. for people to start saying enough is enough. Yeah. We, we, we're being devoured, especially women. We're being right. devoured by men. The game ain't right. changed all of these years. It's the same game. How come all of the women don't know it yet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, to bring some leverage into it, to get healthy relationships, you know? Mm -hmm. Each one of us individually have the power to stop the cycle when it's our yeah. turn, you know? My brain is bigger than everybody around you. You everybody. are so right about that. In so many ways. And her outside is pretty. And you remember how I was telling you, 
you know, it ain't all about what you know sometimes. Sometimes your pretty could take you places. And she's sitting up there wasting the pretty. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And 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 when I found out that it me it needed both pretty and education, mm -hmm. I began to learn how to talk. The first thing I did was I learned how to speak properly. I learned how to not say they in the wrong places. I learned my, my, my verbs and subjects and all of that and how to put them in, in, in their rightful place. Because I knew that I wasn't educated enough to sit with the big boys, but hold up. When the big boys came around, I was pretty and I spoke well. Right, right. I sat with the doctors with the suit sewn, the insurance agents with the briefcase, became a couple of them, became the agents of regional managers. Mm hmm. Yeah. They had I remember that. A major college. Yeah. yeah. They're going to major colleges. I had, I had just, just did get this to Del Barra community, you know? Yeah. And, um, but I made it. Yeah. I made it. I went to Del uh, 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 Community College. And the thing about it is that I was least likely to succeed in the person's mind because I was so young and uneducated. But when they sit their heads down and talk to me a few years later, mm -hmm. what you thought was going to happen to me, I changed the script. Yeah. Because that was my choice. Yeah. I did not want to be like you had you have projected me to be. Yeah. And my back to my beauty. I was beautiful. I had beautiful hair, body. I was young. Shit, I had it going on. Yeah, <laughs> I had it going on. Six, six, four years old. Still got it. But anyway, so much for that. I um, my beauty brought me places that my education couldn't. And when I when the two of them caught up and met, they kissed each other, and God damn, it was to the moon, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, your choices, that's what we were talking about. Your choices is going to determine your destiny. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the major choices, like the big choice we women make in their life is who they choose to marry. Who they choose to marry. Girl, stop it. Oh, ah! my God. Get up and run on that one. Who you choose yes. to marry. Because and Yeah, yeah. You know, he's yeah. going to do one of the two. Oh, he's yeah. going to have you working on, or he's going to have you working on you and working on him at the same freaking time. At the same and time. And he's going to wear your ass out if he's the right man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And in my single days, that's what I be talking about. In my single days, I see them women that got wore out. And it, it just made me want to stay on the porch and be like, oh, I just think I need to be single, you know, because <laughs> I was yeah. afraid of that. Yeah. I was so afraid of that. I don't want nobody dragging me down the street. Yeah. But that's one of the biggest uh, decisions you make. And so <laughs> you got to choose, so choose wisely. But but you know what? But but you know what? You started off so young, though. You know, yeah, you started yeah. off so young. So, I didn't even know a preference of a man. Right. And when I realized this is what I want, this is what my mama wanted. That's what your mama wanted. But still, at the same time, you know what? You could say you chose wrong, but at least back then they were telling you who you know, like what did they call it? Arranged marriages and stuff. Because yeah. mama saw in that man something that you didn't see in I him. Didn't see 
And what mom, what grandma saw in him was that he was a great provider. Oh, he was gonna provide for you. You see, you see, so exactly. <laughs> see, we need a little bit of that right now because we have a lot of young, pretty women that's falling for the okie doke and trying to marry the 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 player. <laughs> And the player ain't a good husband. Yeah, not at all. You see, the player you play with and you leave him alone and be like, okay, I'm going to go over here by this little IT guy, <laughs> this little geek over here, <laughs> because this geek have good character. This geek ain't going to have me, you know, wonder where he at all the time. And, you know, he going to really treat me well and he going to provide for me and not have me in like a rotation, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really. It's and different you know what? qualities. Check that out. As you were talking, mom chose for me, and then her choosing for me started something. Because I would never, I have never, thank you, Lord, I have never been in a relationship with a guy that didn't do nothing for me. There you go. You he see? Could, yeah, he couldn't, he couldn't tell me my dog was going to fire. What, nigga? exactly exactly that's a turn off for me too so you see you you might think that her arrangement wasn't all that great but her provisions in this day is great because they got women that's trying to take care of men in this day yep she is still something in me that i didn't recognize yeah we we need that kind of stuff arranged marriages you know, because, like, I feel like other cultures do that. Because if you pay attention to the other cultures, they be, like, married into money, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They send their daughter to certain universities to go find a rich somebody. For real. <laughs> For real. Yep. Hmm. They do. So, I mean, you know, it's all about choices. Choices you make. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I still feel, regardless of all of that, that all is well. You know, everybody have their journey and their story. And some of them end up really beautiful, no matter how chaotic they start off. They no could end up beautiful. How yeah. You, you could always pick up the pieces. There's always hope, no matter how old. They have old oh, people getting married yeah. and finding their love and happiness down the line. But you got to be. She found love. She found love. Yes. And he was just giddy with his big ass self. He was just as giddy as she was. Yeah. And I'll never forget. After all of all the wedding was over and everything, they would always connect their hands wherever they went. They yeah. held hands. They held hands. I won't be surprised if they died for all again. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. It's chaotic. That's where this conversation comes from. As chaotic as life could be, the end results could be so beautiful. Yeah, because we're supposed to be making peace in the chaos. You know, we're supposed to find the peace in the chaos, find the love in the chaos. That's yeah. what all of our journeys is all about. It's going to be yeah. chaotic, but you got to find it in the end. And it does exist. Yeah. It does yeah. exist. Yeah. And that's where I am. Yeah. 
So the change, so you're saying basically the change started with you. The change started with me. It started with me. And everything else, as I said, uh, joined the peace. <laughs> so that goes to show that saying that says, um, when you change the way that you look at things, the things around you will begin to change. Will change, yeah. You can't cut loose it. It yeah. follows. Yeah. It follows. That's so true. Stop the noise. Stop the noise in your own mind. Stop Stop fighting against the current and let the... Yeah. And ride it. Yeah. Stop. It gets harder when you try to fight it. Yeah. I believe that. Because all the while, I was the CEO. Yeah, you didn't know it. You didn't know it. A fight for a position that you already had? That I already had. Oh, I thought you didn't know. (laughs) When I look back at that, I was was basically fighting against my own self. (laughs) Really? Against your own current that you created. Yes. You created it. That's what I feel like, that's what I feel like looking, looking in, I guess from the outside though, with that limited view of other women who, who get a divorce. Yeah. Uh, One of those divorces that really, it's like you divorced for that. Yeah. You know, you destroying the empire for that. Yeah. That's how I feel, but I'm, you know. I'm single, so I can't I can't talk about somebody else's marriage, even though I've been through one. Cause the uh, cause the old Bridget, the old Bridget did the same darn thing. But Bridget, Bridget, the woman who I am now, could have salvaged that that marriage. Yeah. Could have built that empire, but Bridget just Bridget just didn't know who she was. She was so lost. She was so young. It was so many factors that led to her wanting to just be free. She was unhealthy. Just, just toxic in all our ways. Thank you. Toxic. That was before I even knew how to detox, really detox. Yes. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually. The mental detox. This ain't about just food, though. It's the mental right. detox that That's you gotta do with about. yourself. Because now I could, I could say some things to to other women or even other men about relationships, and they'll be like, "Wow." You know, that's rare for a woman to look at things like that. It's because I've been through the detox. I've been through the um, mental the- detox, the right. therapy. You know, I've sat in those lonely moments of life and worked on my issues to come to this place. I ain't always been new nothing. <laughs> right. Right. I used to be stuck on stupid too. 
But I just right. been through some things and that wisdom allows me to see things so different now. Yes. So My different. Life did not come on until I started eating right. Yeah, that's the beginning. Talking, the eating right. Mentally got mental clarity, meditating, things that I didn't do prior to that. Yeah, because like we were talking about them parasites, them parasites will take havoc in your head. And will begin to take over your thoughts, and you like, where he at? What he doing? He, you know, and yes. it, it's just like it'll destroy your relationship because of the toxic thoughts that you have about him, and he just at work or whatever. And that's a, and that's a full time job you bought yourself in for nothing. For nothing. Because half of the stuff that I was imagining wasn't even real. It wasn't real. No, but in your in that nothingness, in that clear space in your head, you made it real in your mind. Yeah. That's that's why the mind is so powerful. Yeah, I made it real. I did. And then you know this um earlier you said that you um you you see how some women that you can't see how some women go through the divorces and tear the empire down. And as you were saying that I was thinking about this little nursery rhyme. <laughs> it says um Humpty Dumpty sit on the wall. Humpty Dumpty, Humpty had the great fall. Yeah. And all the king horses and all the king men could not put Humpty back together again. Mm -hmm. And I thought about the women that sit on the wall going through some of the same things that, that we're talking about right now. And then they go and they get these divorces and everything. And then they fall off the wall. And all the king horses, no matter what you say or do, couldn't put that woman back. She goes into deep. Oh, she began to wow. start eating yeah. more. She started letting herself go a hell of her head. Don't brush her teeth. Don't dress like she used to. And all this sort of thing. And then before you know it, life deteriorates. That woman's gone. I've seen so many women go through yeah. that. I can name a few that you know. But we're not going to do the name call thing. But they sit there and they just gave up. And none of the, none of them could put Humpty back together again. <laughs> Nobody could put Humpty back together again. Humpty, the Humpties that I, I, I can see in my mind right now, they have gone on. They were nurses. They, they were well-educated women. Yeah. Strong black women at one time. And one man left their life. And they fell apart. And they fell apart. Mm -hmm. And could not be put back together. Oh, yeah. Again. I know a lot of those, too. Died I know a lot of those. And died yeah. in that misery. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. And that is so, so disgusting. Hmm. And I vow to myself that we will not happen to me. I know that's right. I'm not going to let that happen to me. I told, I told myself I cried my last emotional tear behind any man. <laughs> For real. Any of them. For real. And granted, me and my husband, we get along better than we have ever gotten along. And we, we, we enjoy each other after all the hell we've been through. We enjoy <laughs> each other. That's a beautiful thing. And deal with that. I enjoy me. Mm -hmm. I care for him, I love him, but I'm enjoying me. Yeah. Because guess what? All back then, I should have been enjoying me. You should have. I had have been enjoying me. me there you go. Enjoying the past like he's doing now. There you go. <laughs> That's what I talk. That's what I'll be sharing with on my channel. Staying in alignment with who you are, making sure you're falling in love with yourself, making sure you having your passion. I always say you have to have a life before you want to be somebody wife. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> that that's deep. Cause if you don't, if you don't, that 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 emptiness, that empty space, you gonna use it to think about foolish things. And it's going to be catered to him. And everything he do, you're going to just be on the edge about. And it shouldn't oh, be God. like that. It's a, you're right. It shouldn't be like that at all. And then 99% of the time, you got it wrong. Yep. <laughs> yep. 
Because it's based upon your thoughts, your insecurities, your worries, or anything that's deeply rooted inside of you. It's not based upon reality or what's true to him. And all those thoughts are toxic. Yeah. Until you realize that you need to detox from the floor up. Yeah. That's what I've been finding, me being new to this little dating thing. That's what I've been finding a lot. <laughs> they got some people out there that, you know to men rather that that are are toxic but it's up to you to identify them and when you do identify them you know you escort them out your life or decide if you're going to entertain them for a little while or whatever but just don't get lost in the sauce of their toxicity <laughs> don't get lost right don't get lost yeah scoop you up like quicksand yeah and drown you in it yeah and you really won't be able to breathe you talking about I can't breathe won't be able to breathe for real. And I thought about what you say, surrendering. Because yesterday, some, something, some little post that I, I saw said, um, nothing changed until I surrendered all. You have to surrender all to the universe in so many wor words. Surrendering all to God and letting God handle your situation. Yes. That's where, that's where it all began with me. Because I didn't, that was part of where it began with me. Because I didn't, surrender. I, I I keep going back to this, but I was too loud. Too so loud. I was too loud. I couldn't hear even the peace of God. I couldn't hear it. In surrendering, my thing is, it's okay to surrender, but I, I it's a thin line between that for some of the church people who like just sit, you know, the ones that just don't want to do nothing while they're surrendering. I feel like the physical does matter while you surrender and looking the part, not being a humpback whale while you're surrendering too, you know, <laughs> right, right, things like right. that. It matters that you do that work, the outside and the inner work, and then surrendering. Like I've done my part here. Now I surrender, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've done, I've given it all that I can. Now here, take this cup from me, you know? <laughs> I only I only say that for those women who just be trying to wait on their bull ass and they not bull ass material is all I'm saying. Oh, girl, don't even talk about that. Yeah, the ones that are delusional because they'll they'll sit there and be like, "Well, you told me to surrender." Mm -hmm. No. Well, a six figure man with wearing flip flops and shirts. Right, right, and everybody feel as if that that's what they're entitled to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But that's not what he's attracted to, you know. Yeah. yeah. So it, you know, I don't, I say that for for a reason. Huh. So they don't get lost by the wayside. For some people, you know. Yeah, it's it's, a, will, it's levels. You're right. You're right. Cause everybody ain't gonna make it. Everybody ain't gonna make it yeah. to that to that so called happily ever after that they have in their head. They that you know that prince, you know, with the knight in shining armor. <laughs> <laughs> well, however that little thing go everybody not gonna make it to that just like in the biblical text broad is the way that leads to destruction and many yeah. will go yeah. narrow is the one that leads to that eternal life and few will find it right they go right. hand in hand but God be the glory people are people <laughs> yeah I had to get up from here and do something with myself I don't pass my little window. I fast every day. Till eleven o'clock. You fast, you say? Yeah. Oh, okay. Intermittent fasting. I do all. Um, oh, the intermittent fasting. That make you feel good? That give you energy? Say that again. It make you feel good and give you energy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just choose to leave my behind. Oh, and I'm okay. being like this when I lay down and you talk me so long. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Ooh. I, uh, just lay here, you know, just ride the curve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll take that this time, but you know you're the one, you know you're the one with the motor on the back of your mouth. <laughs> I know. 
you you probably don't have no more gas up in there. That's why you. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm running low on gas. I need to go to the gas station. That's what that is. But okay, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you slide on that one. Right. Oh, Wait, hold up. Didn't you call me? <laughs> yeah, I have a call. I returned the call. Yeah. Okay. 